happy Halloween, or I should say happy October. I'm so excited. I'm Sage, and I'm here today to do a fall slash Halloween haul. And I'm just feeling all the spooky vibes. I'm wearing a thrifted Halloween sweater and these uh, very fitting ears I got from Hot Topic last year. So yeah, I'm in the mood for spooky videos. So keep an eye out. This will be like, you know, a series on my channel, I guess. I'm gonna do a lot of Halloween and fall festive ones. And yeah, let's get into it because I have a lot of stuff, mostly thrifted and mostly from Target, but I have some stuff from other stores as well. I did not buy all of this at once. It is a collective haul. I spent like weeks shopping and we didn't have that much Halloween stuff. So that's why I was able to buy a lot this year. And yeah, I'm just, can you tell I'm super pumped? This is, this is my time to shine. Okay, this is a long intro. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with this pillow. Oh my god, do you see this? Also, I'm standing up, so like, I might get a little crazy during this haul. Um, this pillow, it's on my bed, and this was like $25, I think, which is eh, okay, but my mom bought it for me um, last month, actually in September at Kohl's so I don't know if it's still there but it is so cute it just has a gray back it's really soft and squishy and uh, it's my first uh, throw pillow on my bed so I'm in love with it now we're gonna get into Michaels Michaels this is my first year shopping for Halloween decor I have a little bag here I'm sorry it's in a plastic bag I'm usually bring reusable bags because I like to save the environment but this time I forgot. So don't worry, I'll be using this bag over and over. We got a couple of items. One of the items I will insert a clip of because I actually already hung it up outside and it is like a pumpkin, like hanging ghost dude. And Michael's has great sales, so that's why we went. And everything was like 50% off. So that hanging ghost guy was only $10. I'll insert the clip of him here. And then I got a bag of classic cobwebs. I'm planning on putting it in the living room and like, and maybe outside, depends on how much. We'll see, this bag was only like a dollar or two. And yeah, I'm really excited. to hang this up somewhere, yes. The other thing I got was a candle. And this isn't just any candle, it might look plain, it's, I mean, it's really well made, like the glass is nice and there's no scent and it has spiders on it. But this was $5 because like I said, it's 50% off, but it is a color changing candle. So there are actual LEDs inside the candle. So when you light it, it like changes colors. The last thing that I got at Michael's, I didn't go too crazy there was this dude. My dad actually picked him out because my dad's super into yoga and meditation and stuff. So this is just perfect. And this was also 50% off. So I think this was like freaking 12 to $15, something like that. So yeah, it's a cute little skeleton dude. Those were all of the things at Michael's. Let's move on to Target. I have, yes, I'm obsessed with Target. As you can see, I have a you know, big reusable bag there. So first, I'll start with the oldest stuff. We got this hand soap. This isn't, like I said, this is a fall haul, so not all of the stuff is Halloween related. It is a pumpkin scented, can you, is that gonna focus? Myers uh, Clean Day Hand Soap with olive oil and aloe vera. And I love this cleaning brand because it's all natural, cruelty free, like made without any chemicals and bad stuff. Cause our family lives a very organic natural lifestyle and it's just, it's in the kitchen and it smells so good. It helps me, you know, really feel the fall vibes every time I'm washing my hands, man. Ugh. And this was like $4. So we got that and then I picked up this adorable little pumpkin. These things will stay up from, you know, past Halloween, just for the fall season. It is a little like felt 
white and beige pumpkin. Can you see that? Oh, this is looking weird. Um, this was three dollars, and yeah, it's really cute. I have it on the dining table or like a kitchen table, whatever. And then the last fall thing I picked up was a pumpkin spice coffee. You might be like, wow, what a basic bitch. But you know what? I'm not willing to spend expensive amounts of money on like the Starbucks one. I'd rather just make it at home since I have a Keurig. And this is decaf because I only drink, <clears throat> I try to only drink decaf coffee. This is better for you, less caffeine. And this one's actually pretty good. It's not like the best coffee ever, like not the highest quality or whatever, but it was cheap. I think this box was 10 bucks or no, like eight or nine dollars and it has 18 cups in here so this is 18 cups of coffee for like nine dollars okay um now on to the oh wait yeah on to the halloween stuff Ugh. okay from target i got this is starting off a little boring thing but this small pack of three black led candles i haven't figured out where i'm gonna place these yet but they were just three dollars and yeah, I wanted more black. I don't have any black candles, so LEDs are always great. And I also picked up this um, small spooky book set. Oh, it's glass, and this was also $3. It looks like this. It says hexes, potions, and spells, and I'm definitely gonna put it on my bookshelf. And it's cute and small, and it's gray and black, so it fits the theme of my room. And yes, love this thing. Some of the other stuff I got is this Halloween sign. It says Happy Halloween, just a wooden board. It was uh, $5. I had a coupon for Halloween stuff because I had downloaded the Target app and it was like $5 off a $30 purchase. So this stuff wasn't even that you know expensive. And we're gonna hang this on the front door because there's a little hook. So really like this guy. And then to go along with the cobweb <laughs> that I got um, at, at Michael's, we got this little spider from Target. I'm just rearranging the legs and this was $5 and it's so cute, but also spooky. It's furry guys, oh my God. And it's, I like that you can adjust the legs. So we probably will put this in the cobweb somewhere. It's a pretty decent size. They were all different sizes, but I just think it's cute and creepy. You know, that's my vibe. <laughs> um, yeah, it has like little jeweled eyes and stuff and furry legs. Cute little spider guy. You can put this anywhere, you know? Yeah. And then some decorations for outside. We have this little, graveyard set, or I should say tombstone set. There are four in here and they're different um, types. And you just like have little stakes and you stick them in the ground and they're just foam so they're really light. And this set was $10. So yeah, we're gonna set them outside and have a little setup area and I have another thing to go with it. It's from a different store. Now, the other thing I got is this caution tape for two dollars and it is orange and black and it says caution caution ca like you know over and over again and I'm gonna put it up on my door probably the front of my door and maybe the front door as well we're gonna see we'll see how much is in here use it on multiple doors if there's enough I think there will be it seems like there's a lot yes yeah, it's 79 feet so okay oops now for the other cute thing, we're down to the last few items. This $10 little trick-or-treat banner. It's like a felt. Zoom in. It is a little felt thing, so it's got little pumpkins and it like has a rope at the top. And it's really cute for $10, so we'll probably string this up in the living room. I'm so excited to put all these things up. And now for the last two things that are just for fall, they're both clothing items. This long sleeve. Ooh, it's getting a little dark on this side. Let me, let me adjust. That's better, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's this, yeah, really soft long sleeve I got for $10 and it's in a color that I don't have in my closet. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's, 
it's between like a red and brown. I don't know, like a rusty, oh, I guess like a brick color. And yeah, it's just really soft and it's in extra small. So it's good to have basic long sleeves in your closet. And then the other clothing item I picked up was a pair of long uh, over the knee socks. These are gray. These were only, I think, $7 and they're really soft and thick so i'm really pumped about these as well <laughs> and yeah that was it for all of the target stuff um it was a lot but let's get in to the last store and that is thrifted all the stuff is from goodwill i love to shop at goodwill you really should hit it up yourself because it helps your wallet it helps the environment because everything is second hand and yeah, freaking, I got a lot. Um, let's start with ooh, some of the Halloween items. They actually have a ton of really great Halloween items that I highly recommend. Um, the first being this witch's broom. Ugh, this thing was only uh, $3 and it is actually a long broom as you can tell and I'm just putting it in the corner of my room. I'll take off the wrapping and all that but yeah it just adds i love the witch aesthetic especially for halloween in october so yes i've been wanting one for a while and then i got um you might also recognize this if you saw my fall asmr <laughs> video that i just posted but this set of really cute halloween matches because i got a bunch of candles and stuff and i wanted like a set of actual matches compared to just classic lighters and they're like the long version, so it's easy to light things. And this was a dollar. So it's super cute. Love that. Um, the other thing we picked up for $2 is this little <laughs> strobe light. I'll turn it on for you. I don't want to blind you, but it has a sound. And you can adjust the speed of like the strobing light. <laughs> I'm not even having a Halloween party or anything, but yeah, it goes like that. Halloween decorations always look the best at night, so we'll probably set this out somewhere in the living room, but we won't turn it on like all the time. Yes, um, the other thing I got is a really cute um, Halloween card. My friend who goes to college now is a few cities away, so I'm going to start sending her cards, and I picked up this really cutesy one because she's not uh, <laughs> really into scary Halloween stuff so I picked her up a cute one and I'll write a handwritten letter because this was 99 cents and just because that's the kind of friend I am and I like being old-fashioned sometimes you know it's a lot more sentimental than just sending a text so I got that and then I got this really really cute I'm sorry if the lighting is dark it is a beautiful cloudy day. I'm so happy the weather has changed and it's become cold. But anyway, I got this really cute vintage looking um, small Halloween sign that says Caution Ghost Crossing. This was $2. The This bottom one is coming off, but I'll just glue it and I'm totally fine hanging this up. It's really cute with a little spider web and it's like little wooden blocks. Yeah, I love this thing. I don't know where I'll put it up yet, but the other thing we got is this creepy cloth for three dollars it doesn't look like the picture it's black but it's like that gauzy material and we'll hang this up like over one of the doorways we haven't decided which one yet but it'll be really nice to have this i feel like it's very versatile and three dollars so dope the other thing we got is a pack a freaking bunch of stickers. I mean, they were all sold separately, but they were like $2 each. So we have a lot of windows and glass mirrors and things like that. So we'll put these on there. The first is a witch set. This is Wicked and it has like a hat and a little spider broom and all that. This is a dollar. So they're little like gel stickers that you can put on, like I said, windows or glass mirrors or whatever. And the next one I got is a bloody set, so that, that's really nice. I haven't decided 
where they're gonna go, like on which windows, but I'm really excited to put these up. And the last one is a glow-in-the-dark. It's hard to tell because you can't see it, but it's like a skull and bats and a little tombstone like set. So hopefully, I haven't seen what this looks like in the dark yet. I'm hoping that it actually glows because <laughs> it's hard to see it, <laughs> you know? So yeah, those are all the sticker sets. And then I got this really cute, adorable plate. We're gonna find a way to display this in the kitchen. We'll use it for decor, probably not an actual plate, although if we did have a party, I could use it as a serving plate. This was $2 and it's actually a nice Halloween freaking kitchen plate. Ugh. Yeah, I really like it. I think oh, it was originally from Home Goods apparently. So yes, this. And then finally, I got a book from Goodwill. Yes, always hit up the freaking book section at Goodwill because you'll get things so cheap there. This book I got for three dollars. It is The Complete Idiot's Guide to Astrology. I already have um, two books on astrology but I wanted a complete guide because I want to delve deeper into the subject. I love astrology and this really fits I feel like the theme of fall and Halloween because it's kind of mystical and um, a lot of people don't believe in it but I I really do. I'm a Scorpio, if you're wondering, and I'm excited to start reading this book. It was originally $18, so I definitely got a deal on it. Oh no, I did forget two more items of Halloween stuff <laughs> from Goodwill. So we got this little set of tea light candles. Yes, more tea light candles. I already opened it and put it in, um, in what do you call, in like this little decor set that we have. And this was only a dollar. The last thing I got from Goodwill, like Halloween decor, is the zombie hand. Like for outside, I'm gonna stick it in the ground right next to all of the gravestones. And this was uh, $3 and it says it was originally 10. So again, hit up Goodwill for all of the, the best prices. And it's really cool. I like it. Yeah, creepy. Freaking, that was all of the Halloween decor. Now we're getting into the clothes. This is a very long haul. Um, okay, first I'm gonna start off, oh my gosh, with these amazing shoes. This is my first pair of shoes I am, I thrifted from Goodwill. Oh my God, these heeled black leather booties, and they are real leather, but I don't mind thrifting leather. I just, I would never buy it like, you know, full price, like regularly from a store, but thrifting, I feel like is okay. And these are very high quality. They're in a size eight and they um, were originally from, the tag was inside. They are originally from Nordstrom Rack and they were $60. So I could tell like they were made well. The brand is called Report. If anyone knows what that brand is, I've never heard of it, but I got these for $10. I do have to break them in, but I don't mind. Like they're actually pretty comfortable. They're just a little stiff. My first pair of heeled booties too. So they're not that tall. I mean, since it's a thick heel, I'll be fine. Um, oops. Okay. I got five clothing items. So the first being this purple, it's like a deep purple um, sweater material shirt and it is ribbed. If you could see that, it is by the brand uh, Karen Scott. And it is a petite small. And this was only, what was the price? This was $7. So it's really soft and comfortable. And I am trying to get like more colors into my wardrobe that I don't have. And this deep purple is perfect for fall and layering since it's, you know, short sleeve. So yeah, I really like this thing. Um. The other clothing item I'm super pumped about is this red sweater, which was $6. And it has, it's a, it's not cropped. It's like a regular um, turtleneck sweater with these black lines running down uh, both sides. And it's really comfy and fits well. So I love getting sweaters from freaking Goodwill. They're always amazing. And then I got <laughs> this shirt from, I got this shirt from the children's section for four dollars. 
Everyone might not like it. It's very Halloween festive. I got this sweater from Goodwill last year and I cut it and people like my family thought it was ugly at first until I cut it, but this one is from the children's section. I think it's originally Old Navy and tag, so it's a children's large and it says happy Halloween, you know, like, and it's like an orange color, but I love the sleeve right here. It has like a moon and a bat and it just fits really well. And it's, I think 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton, so it's, it's really nice. And because it's a children's, it was only $4. And I wanted another festive Halloween thing, you know? Another festive Halloween shirt, I mean. The last two clothing items I have are jackets. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Okay, which one should I start with? This one, this jacket uh, was $10 and it is a turtleneck, zip up turtleneck, um, like black kind of athletic uh, jacket. And it is Armani Exchange, which I'm assuming is high-end, obviously. And it's like, like I said, it has the collar or has the tag and everything for it. And it's an extra small and it says Armani Exchange on um, this zipper, or like that it has zipper pockets. And yeah, it's like a tight-fitting athletic jacket and it just looks really badass on. So pumped about that one. And the last item I have for this haul is this jacket. Oof. I don't have any jacket like this. It is furry on the inside and it's, you know, like a beige coat and it's very, very um, nice for fall because it's kind of like a medium weight jacket and it's hilarious, but it's by Budweiser. Um, <laughs> Not that I'm super into beer or anything. I didn't know Budweiser made clothes, but you can see on the inside it says Budweiser and this jacket is in a small and I got it for $13 and it even has like the nice buttons. It said like Budweiser with the freaking logo and stuff. Yeah, so that is all of my haul stuff. Comment down below if you're excited for fall and Halloween. Tell me what like videos you want me to make and yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed peace out ghoulies <laughs> ghoulies i don't know if that's a good sign off bye see you next time witches <laughs> trying to think of a halloween festive one but it's not working anyway until next time